Hi, I'm Jenny Ibrahim from Lung Information and Friendship for Everyone, LIFE, a group for people living with chronic lung conditions. COVID has changed our lives completely and nothing seems the same. But, you know, managing well with chronic lung conditions now is not really very different from what it used to be. We still need to manage our physical and our mental and our emotional health. And here are some tips from LIFE members and from the Lung Foundation Australia. First of all, have a daily routine. If you don't have one, make one. And include in that a regular walk and some home exercises. We've developed a presentation about this on, and it's on our Facebook page and on our web page. Even in isolation, keep in touch with friends and family through the phone and letter email or a video call from, from over the computer. Make a list of your friends and relatives who might appreciate a phone call and talk to one of them, at least one of them, every day. See this isolation period as an opportunity. Tackle jobs that you've always left for another day, like cleaning out cupboards, taking up a new skill like Sudoku or drawing, keeping a diary or writing a book. Say hello to your neighbours. Of, at one and a half metres away, of course. Grow some veggies or some herbs, but don't vegetate. And boost your immune system every day by getting vitamin D. Just 10 minutes a day is enough. You could be reading, weeding, or just watching the birds. If there's a problem, I hope you've got a list handy of people that you can call on by phone to help you, friends, neighbours, and other services that can help. Can you use the supermarket's online ordering system and delivery service? Or if you can't, can someone else help you do that? Is there anything else that can be delivered? A lot of companies are delivering now that didn't before. Keep your mind active too. Puzzles, games, a book, a documentary. There's a lot of advice that's come out from the Australian government, but there's just some basics. Certain groups should stay at home as much as possible for their own protection. And these groups include people over 70 and those over 60 with a chronic condition or a compromised immune system, such as with some cancer treatments. So that includes us. We get bulk billed for phone consultations now with our doctor to avoid having to leave the relative comfort of our own homes. So check your support. Prescriptions. Are any of them out of date, more than a year old? Do you have enough repeats for all your regular medications? How about for flare-ups? Do you have antibiotics, for example, for a chest infection? Or prednisolone, if that's what you take when you have a flare-up? Get your flu vaccination as soon as you can, because you don't want that too. We're advised to wash our hands frequently and to keep at least one and a half metres from other people if we must leave home briefly for essential trips, like groceries, medications or medical visits. It's called social distancing, but I prefer to call it physical distancing. We're still keeping in touch with our friends and our family and the support groups that up until now we've usually met face to face. At home, Regularly disinfect frequently touch surfaces like knobs and taps and phones, especially if someone in your household goes out for work, for example. Check your action plan for your lung condition. If you don't have one, speak to your doctor at that phone consultation. Download, you can download action plans forms for bronchiectasis, asthma and COPD from the Lung Foundation website and talk to your doctor about what you should put on it. And know what the symptoms are of COVID-19 so that you will recognise them. And that can be quite hard for people like us with chronic lung conditions. Work out how you would know if it was different from your usual self. For me, I'm looking out for a fever because I usually have a sore throat and a cough. Stay calm. Don't panic or overthink things. Just take one day at a time. Stress prevents your immune system from working well, and we don't want that. If you do find it impossible to stay calm, reach out to somebody 
a friend, a family member, Lifeline, Beyond Blue. So good luck and stay safe and stay well.